Here I'm going to show you how to test a block heater in a truck that doesn't heat your truck up, seems to not be working, the truck still starts like it's cold. First thing you're going to want to do is take this end that you plug into the wall and you're going to want to take and just put your multimeter on resistance and we're going to check to see if there's current, if there's continuity that goes through the whole cord. That's our first test. So we can see here we have a problem. We're connected, everything looks, looks fine, we got a brand new cord, however, we have no continuity, simply zero. So the next step that you would do is you would plug this in, or, well, I guess to be safe, you would get in there in, in your truck and you would unplug this from, follow your cord down to your plug-in, into your element there. You're gonna plug this in into the wall of your garage or whatnot, wherever your source is a known good power source and you're going to test to see if you have 120 volts coming down your cord. This is the cord test. As you can see there, if I can get it in there, oh, excuse me, we got to switch this back to alternating current and we have good voltage. So we now, we now know that our cord is good and it is not the issue. So the next step to test the element. If you can do this in your truck, I recommend it. Uh, well, we just did the test that's gonna explain to us if it was plugged in, we had no continuity. We now know that it is the element. So we have just diagnosed that the element is the problem. And if you want to verify like I always do, I'll squeeze in there and I'll just go ahead and plug it into the here and I'll verify that we have zero resistance. So you can test that outside of the truck all from the tip of your plug. After verifying that the cord is good, you know the element is bad. So if the cord was bad, you wouldn't have voltage here. And you'd know it was a cord. Get a new cord, plug it in, see if it then do the test from here of resistance back to your element. So here we'll just go ahead and test it a good one, give you an idea of what a good one's supposed to look like. And we have 11 ohms of resistance, 11 and a half. So that's perfect. That is good. So we're going to install this. Um, we're going to install the cord. And we're going to get back to heating our coolant so we can have a good, warm startup on our diesel engine. Thanks for watching. Say, uh, keep posted to new videos. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them down there in the comment bar. Please subscribe and like the video. And if you have any special requests, let me know. We do a lot of different stuff in here. So I'd be glad to help. Have a great day.